Hi, my name is James. I'm going to show you how to test and install a converter charger into an RV. So the converter charger converts 120 volts AC into 12 volts DC. About this one's 13.6 and it's used for charging the battery and then also supplying some of the 12 volt circuits in the RV like lights, pumps, heater, and refrigerator. So if this isn't working, they won't work. Installation of these converter chargers is real easy. Positive goes to either side of the positive red. Negative goes to either side of this negative. They're either white or black. If you're not sure, be sure and use a voltmeter and measure the voltage coming in. Positive to positive, negative, negative. Allen wrench on the set screws. And then there's a ground line usually on the back right there. Plug it into the AC. It's a good practice if you disconnect positive of the battery before you start the project. I'm gonna do it hot because I've done this so many times. If you don't want to unplug the battery, but feel uncomfortable having a hot wire floating around, you can put electrical tape around it until it's mounted. So that's the positive right there, the red. Here's the negative is white. That could be black too, usually. Um, here's the ground wire, and I've got mounting screws back here, and the AC wall sockets right over there. So if your 12-volt system is not working, it could be one of three things. It could be a problem with the AC coming into the charge converter, or it could be the charge converter, or else it could be a short in your battery pack. I'm gonna tell you how to troubleshoot those. So it's first thing I do is unplug the charger converter, and I'll measure on the red to the red, so positive, positive, negative, negative, and see I'm, res I, I'm reading 12.6 volts. So this is just the battery voltage. Now, when I plug in the charge converter, it should go up. So it was about 12 for it, six, now it's 13.5. And so this is charging the battery and supplying 12 volt circuits, perfect. So everything's good here. So I would start at the AC side if you are having problems. And if it's tripping a breaker, I would try unplugging the converter charger and see if it still trips a breaker. If it's not tripping a breaker, it only trips it if you're plugged in, then I would buy a new charge controller. If you're not tripping breakers, I would measure voltage coming out of the AC, make sure it's got 120 volts going to the charge controller. If you've got 120 going to the charge controller, I would try unplugging negative side and measure if you're getting 13.5 or 13.6 coming out of the charge controller. If you're not getting that, it's probably a bad charge controller. The last thing it could be is to shorten the battery. A lot of people run these RVs, if they're just parked anyway, without a battery inside there. Disconnect the battery. You might have a short in your battery. Disconnect the battery and just run all your 12 volt circuits directly off the converter charger. So these progressive dynamic converter chargers are really nice because they float the battery at about 13.5 volts. Batteries last longer if you keep a charge on them. If you leave them depleted too long, the batteries wear out faster. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.